It's very interesting that we have a 1260 day time period, we have a 42 month time period, and we have a time times and a half time period. All of these are not on a Gregorian calendar. You can't have three and a half years in today's calendar and have 1260 days or 42 months. It doesn't work. Well, how does it work then? It only works on a biblical calendar. When I say biblical calendar, I mean God's original calendar that he laid out from the creation. And if we go back to the, the uh, account of Noah, we can see that the flood um, came in the second month on the 17th day, and it ended on the seventh month on the same day. So, and then it says it's 150 days or five months, which would be exactly a 30-day month period, which would mean there would be 1,260 uh, days in a three-and-a-half-year period in the time of the end. Why is this important? Because God's going to finish his calendar. This is what we haven't understood in, the time of the, in times past. In our historical application of some of these prophecies, we have not understood one, well, actually two major uh, facts. Is that God has given the prophecies in this, these time periods so that we can know that God's going to finish his work on the same calendar that he started with. This is how the wise are going to understand. Because they understand what God is doing. You see, with this calendar, with this restoration of the calendar, comes the festivals. And this is what no other generation that has gone before us has seen as clearly as we're seeing now. So when we're looking at this idea, God's going to set the original calendar in play. And he's also going to restore the festivals, which are a prophetic calendar of events on how God's plan of salvation is going to come to fruition, how it's going to be played out. That would be the Passover. What does the Passover mean? What is it a type of? The, the Feast of First Fruits, uh, Pentecost, the Feast of Trumpets, the, the Day of Atonement, and Tabernacles. How do all of these things play out when it comes to the plan of salvation? Well, when we look at that, and this is what no other generation has really seen, when we look at those in detail in this time of restoration of these things, because it's only when we start to practice them does God start to show us what they actually mean. And I would propose when we do that, we're going to be able to clearly discern what is truth and error when it comes to these prophecies. And that's what we're seeing today. If we do not use the festival calendar in our understanding of the prophecies of Daniel and Revelation, we will never, and I say this again, we will never get the timing of the events portrayed in the prophecies correct. Correct. 